Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our admins, and the message reads like this. Hello, Brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? I am a man who is aged 29 years old. I am not yet married and I do not have any child. I don't know if I'll ever be married in my life because of the things that I did. So, Brother Nashi, I want to confess to you that I went and I did some rituals. I came to South Africa when I was just a young man. And when I came here to South Africa at the place where I was working at that time, our boss had given us the password to the Wi-Fi. So what I'll do is that early in the morning, because we used to start work at 7 a.m., then I would go to the storeroom where I'll just download some videos as well as some audios, but most of the channels that were from Zim, so that when I will be working, I'll be listening to those audios, even if it was a video, I would go on Vidmet, then I'll select that video, but as an audio, then I'll download it so that I can just work while I'll be listening to something because at that place where I was working, the pay that we were being given, it was not a lot of money. So for me not to think about it, I then told myself that at least if I will be listening to all of these channels that are from Zim, at least I won't have a lot of stress while I'll be working. It then happened that I started to follow this other channel and I don't want you to mention the name of that channel but most of the people that are from Zim they know this channel. It usually interviews a lot of traditional healers. I can say that those are the first people that started interviewing traditional healers here on YouTube. So I was following those guys that would go around uh, visiting traditional healers and then they'll be teaching a lot of stuff in our Shona culture. So whilst I was following uh, that other channel, that was when I saw one day that there was a new episode. So this new episode that was on their channel, it was about this other traditional healer who was claiming that he can actually make you to become rich. So I then took the numbers and indeed when month end came, I then spoke with that traditional healer. That traditional healer then told me that the consultation fee, Maria Dari, it was going to be 40 US dollars. So I had to convert that money from South African rent to the US dollar. I then sent that money to him. So I was like, maybe I am going to get scammed. But at the same time, I told myself that let me just try. Let me just try. Maybe this man, he can make me to become rich. So by the time that I did all of these things. He then told me that I was now on the waiting list because there were a lot of people that were waiting to have a consultation with him. He was even telling me that a lot of his customers, they are not in South Africa, but they are in the United Kingdom. And he was saying that most of the people that are from Zim that are in the UK, they love a lot of rituals and they are always looking for someone who can assist them to become more rich. So I waited and I waited. I can say that I waited for about three months while I was waiting for that traditional healer to come back to me with an answer. And, and at that time, I told myself that this man, he had just scammed me. This guy then told me that he was going to be passing through South Africa, going to London, because there was this other couple that had called him because they have a business there in the UK. So they wanted this traditional healer to go to the UK so that he can strengthen their business. This man, he, he then told me that if I wanted, I could come so that I can meet up with him. The only challenge was that I did not have any documentation. So I was scared to go to Johannesburg, knowing that in Johannesburg, I will get arrested. So I told him that unfortunately I could not come. This man then said when he was coming back, he was going to have a consultation with me. He then went to the UK and later on he returned back to Zim. That was when he called me and he said that on that same night we were supposed to have our consultation. So I waited and I waited. After the sun he had gone down, I called him and he told me that he was still very busy with some of his clients. So I waited and I waited until it was 9 p.m. When it was 9 p.m., he then told me to 
carry a 20 liter bucket that will be full of water and sit with it outside and i then went at the back of our rooms because i did not want people to see me he then told me that i was supposed to face in the eastern direction where the sun rises up and that is what i did with that bucket that was full of water in front of me and i sat and we had this consultation on the phone whilst we were having this consultation that was when i thought that there was movement in that bucket he asked me if there was any movement in that bucket and i said yes there is some movement i feel that there is some movement in the bucket traditional healer then told me that i was supposed to speak with the spirit of my late father so i started with my late father i informed him that it was time for him to bless me and i informed him to tell his own father and his father before him until they had reached the creator and i spoke with the creator and i told god that indeed i know that he will he was going to answer me one day but i could not wait for his answer anymore because he had taken his time to answer me so i was here to take what belonged to to me by force so i was forcing the will of god that is what the traditional healer told me on that night my brother after i had spoken that was when i saw a shooting star and when i told that traditional healer that i had seen a spark in the sky he laughed and he said that indeed it has been done for you it has been done you are going to be given some money so this money that is going to be given to you i want you to keep that money and i want you to work for at least one more month and after you would have worked for at least one month then you return back to zim with my money do we agree and i said yes in indeed we do agree so my brother the next morning when i woke up i kept on hearing that there was some movement in that bucket and he had told me not to open it up for a couple of days and after a couple of days that was when the movement just died down then i opened that bucket and to my surprise there was no longer water but there was money that was in there so the money that was in there it was five thousand us dollars that i saw so when i saw that there was money greed entered into my heart i then told myself that with this money it is far much better that i quickly return back home so that i can start my own business and at that time there was this other girl who was staying in that same location that i had lasted after for a very long time so i spoke with this other man who was also from zim i asked him to go to fnb for he, for me he then went to to fnb he exchanged the us dollars that i gave him i only took 500 us dollars he went there and he was then given the money and after he had given me this money i went to that girl's house and after i had showed her the money this girl then agreed to sleep with me just like that me and her we slept together and i did the things that the traditional healer had told me not to do so i said that let me just sleep with this girl and i am going to make a plan i then returned back to zim when i returned back to zim that traditional healer then refused the money he said that i am not going to accept this money because you were supposed to give me all of my money he then chased me for from his house so after he had chased me from his house when i returned back to my mom's place in the village to my surprise the next morning when i woke up i saw that there was a pile of money and when i counted the money it was again five thousand us dollars so this happened for two good years i would wake up and i would see that in the room where i'll be sleeping there will be money in there sometimes the money will be only 500 300 or five thousand us dollars so i then took that money and i came to bait bridge in musina where i bought those ex, ex japanese cars and i returned with them back home and i started my small garage where i was reselling those cars that is how i started making a lot of money so this man kept on calling me and telling me that all the money that i thought that i had was not mine and he told me that i had that you now have a car sales garage here in harare all those cars belong to me i want you to come to my place let us speak as men i know that you think that everything that you own right now 
it is yours but they are not yours i want you to give me what belongs to me and i said that no i cannot do that because this was the wealth that i had built for myself and i was willing to defend it this man then said are you sure that you are willing to defend everything that i gave you and i said yes so last month what i did is that i went to mashwede i just wanted to drink some alcohol when i went there brother nashi i then picked up this other young woman she was really beautiful i then offered to buy her a drink and she agreed throughout the night me and her we were drinking our alcohol and i then said let us return back to my place she gladly accepted and she agreed when we arrived at my place we went straight to the bedroom where we made love after we had made love i struggled to fall asleep eventually then i fell asleep and then i woke up i felt so much coldness like there was something that was really cold in the blankets so when i woke up i looked and i saw that the girl was not with me in bed i then removed the blankets because i felt that there was something that was moving in the blankets to my removed the blankets i then saw a python i screamed and the moment that i screamed that was when i saw that same traditional healer who made me to become a ritualist this traditional healer when i saw him he was not physically there but i just saw him as if like someone was projecting his image into the walls and he spoke with me and he said that i am supposed to pay him back i am supposed to pay him back with the blood of my mother if i want to keep all of this wealth that his shrine has given to me so i am still thinking i don't know what am i supposed to do this man he said that i gave you this wealth but after i had given you this wealth then you thought that you were too clever now you have to pay my shrine with the blood of your mother i do not want to sacrifice my mother because when i was growing up my mother suffered a lot while she was taking care of me and my siblings my mom is nothing but a poor woman and i am unable to help her with this money that i was given by this traditional healer for he told me that if i was going to become rich then this money i am not allowed to give this money to any of my relatives he said that the day that you are going to give your mother your the money that comes out of these rituals that we did then you are going to die on the spot the day that you are going to help any of your relatives your blood relatives then on that day you know that you are going to run mad then there is no one who will be able to cure your madness so here i am brother nashi i am asking for your advice i don't know what am i supposed to do this young girl i don't even know her name when i picked her up i was drunk and she was drunk i don't even know where she comes from and she is now a snake i have a python that is in my house i don't know what am i supposed to do with this python that traditional healer told me that after i have sacrificed my mother then he is going to perform a ritual so that this python can be transformed back into a human being please help me out dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by our dear brother strange things do happen in this world our dear brother was saying that he was told by this same traditional healer that at the place where he is staying he is supposed to keep one room that is where this python is staying that room he was told that he is not supposed to clean it so what he does is that he goes out and he buys some white chickens those ones that are called broilers then he just goes into that room and he gives these live chickens to that python then it will eat the chickens strange things do happen in this world